Hey guys, what is going on? It's Dynasty Reloaded coming back at you guys once again, and today we are going to be doing a 1.8 little plugin tutorial. As you see, let me get this jukebox off. Alright, so, I'm a developer on this server, just so y'all are aware, so y'all should come check it out. Um, it's Problem Gaming, which, if you want to look up the website, it's problemgaming.com, and the IP is played.problemgaming.com, and I'll put that in the description. And like I said, I'm a developer on here, and I developed the plugin for Tab, which you'll see a lot of big servers having on their servers, obviously, now. Where it'll say something up top as a title and something as a header at the bottom. And yeah, <clears throat> so I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that today. Let's get out of here, because I'll probably get kicked anyways. And let's go into here. And yeah, so I made a Tab menu tutorial. Let's go into build path and you're going to want the newest version of spigot. If you don't have spigot then you need to find a way to get it because they can't actually download it straight from their site anymore. At least not for another month or two. And so you have to go find a friend that has it or some other way that you can find it. And we're going to extend Java plugin and implement um, listener. Yeah, there we go. Can't believe that was so hard to think of at the time. But we're going to make a public void on enable like usual. And that way we can load up the plugin manager. So get plugin manager dot register listeners. This, if I can type right, and this. There we go. That's all we need in that. And we can do at event handler handler public void on player join event. Actually, we'll do on player connect just because it'll make a little bit more sense later. So, player join event e open it up and yeah. So, first off, we're gonna define the player which is e.get player obviously and import all of that <clears throat> if you don't know how I'm importing automatically it's control shift O and that's not always the best way to import stuff if there's multiple things to import it can sometimes choose the wrong one and usually it'll bring up like a little menu that'll ask you which one you want to import it from but now we're going to do player connection connection we're just gonna name it connection you can name it anything you want but you're gonna need it later on so player connection connection and then craft player I don't like casting craft player too often but you kinda of need to for this now before we can go on you're gonna to have to import craft player so p dot um, get handler or get handle dot player connection there that's all you need for that to name connection and now we're gonna actually start putting out what they want so I chat um, base component there we go it's first one I chat base component and we are going to name this top and we're gonna set it equal to chat serializer dot a and this string is a little bit different than usual the thing that I'm saying about the string you have to have it in JSON format if you don't know what that is if you're using a command block it's the same exact thing so you can look up command block stuff to use it for so you're gonna have to put a bracket on the outsides just like that and we are going to do extra since we're gonna have two different um, colors as you see in here let me go into localhost and see on 1.8 it automatically converts it over so we'll change the color of one thing just to keep it simple so y'all can see the change in it but as you can see um, <clears throat> there's two different colors if it was one color you could just put in color text blah 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 but since there's more than one color you have to do extra and here we go so extra and we actually need to put a I don't know what the name of those are actually like the quotation marks but they're one I'm not 100% sure what they're called 
but you need to use a colon and do this again because it's opening up a new thing for the extra text and we're going to do text open it up and the text is going to be um, let's see what do we want to do problem and then we can do comma um, we want to do color so color we'll do red just because it'll change it up from what we already have on there color red and I always put those just around it to be safe you don't really have to inside these brackets or inside the extra but I like I said it's an, another way to be safe We'll make it red and we will do bold and you'll set bold equal to true now you can go outside of that put a comma and now so we're going to be making the regular text so we are going to be making the outside text color um, we need outside it I'm pretty sure you need the color inside the single quote so color we will make it yellow if I can spell yellow right and we actually need the single quote so yellow <clears throat> um, bold I want to keep forgetting to do that bold true and we can just set the text after that. so text the uh, text gaming and I don't know why I didn't save the first part gaming if I can spell gaming right there we go so that's pretty much all you need for that line so that pretty much just made the header and as you see color yellow bold true text gaming perfect so we're gonna make it another one I chat base component bottom equals chat serializer and it should be dot a yes dot a again and whoops there we go so now we're going to pretty much do the same thing and this one though we are going to be making extra we need the quotes again or the little single quote extra and then we can go ahead and open that up to saying Ooh, whoops i need that extra uh come on that's really getting hard to do um so extra we'll make color orange um yeah no we'll make color aqua i guess yeah color aqua so color aqua text and this will be like the website's URL. It's a problem. Gaming.com. And that's not going to be bold. I don't like making the inside text bold. It just doesn't look good to me. You can if you want. Like I said, it's your plugin. And you can do whatever you want with it. Um, so on the outside, it's going to be text. Actually, no. Color we'll make this orange orange and as you can tell I'm not used to JSON text comma text and this will just simply say um, sign up at no um, sign up on the website dash and we'll put a space in between there just so it'll give it and actually inside here let's make it look a little bit more like URL so this way you can see a little more about JSON underline true actually it's underlined true there we go and format that just so it'll get out of there okay it's not going to format until we put this here control F there we go so as you can see extra color and then all of this stuff um looks good 
All right, so now pretty much we just got to register into their join. So connection, connection dot send packet. And this is going to be a new protocol injector dot all right we use the wrong protocol injector um let's get rid of that actually it looked like the right one but new protocol injector right there dot there we go packet tab header <clears throat> and inside here we're going to register them so top comma bottom and that's pretty much all you got to do so as you can see red is what it is right now or no what we're going to change it to at the top where it's going to be red problem and then gaming you can play around with it however you want it's not that hard and as you see join the website we'll change into sign up on the website blah blah, blah. and we can go ahead save this and obviously we need to make our plugin.yml so plugin.yml and I'm not good at making plugin.yml's I just copy and paste it usually so bam there we go and this is going to be what is the source plugin.tab dot menu and then dot Tab menu tut. There we go. So we can save that. As you can see, I want to export it as tab menu, which I already have in there. Yes, it's already running in there. I don't care. Finish and overwrite. Yes. Reload. Now let's get out of here and join this. Bam. As you see, problem gaming on the top. And on the bottom you see color on the website's white. That's because we must not use the correct color code. So instead of that, we will use gold. Just because I don't think orange is a correct color. You're going to have to look up the actual colors. I'm not 100% sure what all of them are. I know that it's aqua, blue, red, stuff like that. But those are the only ones I'm really sure of. And let's go back, reconnect. Bam, bam, bam. And there we go. Sign up on the website is in orange, well, gold compared to JSON, but it's really go or orange to me. And g gaming problem. Oh, whoops, we put those backwards. So pretty much just to fix that. Gaming in red, problem in yellow. Not a big deal. Like I said, just play around with it. I'm not too familiar with how text blocks work or command blocks work so I've been playing around with these all day like different things that I can put in there and yeah so if you also wanted to do something we could do this welcome to problem gaming and then inside here we could do this so where it's text we can close that out actually do this plus e dot actually plus p and what's wrong with that hmm let's see Okay, there. We didn't need that. There we go. Now, as you can see, whenever we save this, we will get back in there and it will have my name in there. It should. Reload it. And localhost. Alright, so the problem with that, I forgot to do something. Because, of course, crap earlier. Um, let's go back in here. P dot get name obviously you gotta get the player name and there we go that was just a big fail on my part let's add a space right here it's not all joint together export it reload 
and like I said you guys can just play around with this to get it however you guys want it for your server this is just a basic tutorial as you see welcome to private gaming UAVX challenge and that's pretty much the easiest way you can do this it'll get whatever name is the actual name let me get rid of the go away there <laughs> no there's another one here dang it all right anyways guys I will be bringing a welcome message and if you want to see what the welcome message kind of is a little sneak peek of what it does you can go on here and treeborn and that big info light grief and raid now allowed that's pretty much the title and there's a couple people on here let me get back to hub and yeah so like always remember to rate comment and subscribe for more there will definitely be another tutorial coming out in the next couple of days to do the welcome message and I'm sorry I haven't been active but I will promise I will start being more active than I have been. And there will be a lot more tutorials coming out. We will also finishing the mod, or a few of the mod things. And yeah, so like always, remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and later.